finish line of the Oklahoma City Memorial Marathon. Over 26,000 participants in the 14th year of this marathon. And as you can see, people are crossing the finish line right now in the half marathon. And we have a few of the full marathon finishers going across as well. Weather is the big story today because it is hot and humid at this point, but that wasn't the story this morning as a storm blew through that delayed the start of this marathon. I spoke with Kerry Watkins about the decision that went into when to start this race. The runners, I think, are pleased. We kept them safe, and uh, it's a tough decision because you got 26,000 people, 48 states, nine countries, and people have come here to run this race, yet you've got to keep them safe. So, I mean, it's a tough call. I think we made the right call. Uh, wish we wouldn't have had to delay it, but it's what we, we did what the best we could do. We were within about 120 seconds of pulling the plug. I would say we were down the last two minutes, and uh, we were watching lightning strikes, and they had to be within uh, a certain distance, in excess of 10 miles outside the race. And uh, we were watching them the whole course on the far side of the lake, north. It was you know not looking great, and. and well, it was fine here. We couldn't send people that direction knowing it hadn't moved through yet. So we, we bring in a staff meteorologist that does sporting events, at all events, outdoor events all over the country. And we were sitting there watching it, had other people you know, weighing in, and made the best call we could make. But it, it was down to the last two or three minutes for sure. Winning the men's marathon this year was Jason Cook. He's from Norman. It was his first marathon win. It was a tough race, but I'm glad we got it in. And it was a little bit cooler start than I thought we were going to have, so that worked out, but it warmed up towards the end. Does the delay cause any problems for you? Uh, I mean, it's, it's hard on your nerves, but it's just something that you have to deal with, so I'm glad we got the race in. I thought I could run well, but uh, I, I didn't expect to win. Before the race, I was really discouraged because the weather, I was like not really wanting to even run it, but once I started, I mean, I just kept running. I didn't know I was the first woman until like mile nine. People started like saying it. I was like, what? And so I just, you know, tried to run as fast as I could. Felt a little sick, but kept going. So I'm really excited. Nope. The rain, yeah, it was discouraging at first, but I'm glad we all stuck it out and kept running. It's a good cause to run for, so. I mentioned there were 26,000 participants this year. 60% of them were women, we were told. The women's winner, Camille Heron. We spoke with her after the race. Congratulations. How Hi. was the run? Thank you. It was very, very hard. I think I actually ran a personal worst. Uh, uh, definitely, uh, you know, you just, some days you just don't feel very good and you just have to tough it out. And so this is one of those days that I just had to tough it out. But uh, I, I'm really good about hanging in there and just uh, trying to keep my eyes open and keep lifting my knees. So that's what I was thinking about the last few miles. So Camille, you say, hey, this wasn't my best run. You stumbled into a big win. Uh, yeah, I did. Uh, I mean, it's always a big deal to, to win your hometown marathon. Uh, you know, I, I, I have lots of opportunities uh, to go all over the country, but I wanted to run this one for my friends and my family. So this means a lot to, to them. Tell me about your wife. How's she doing? She's doing great, yeah. This is her last big blowout before she goes to Comrades uh, Marathon on June 1st in South Africa. So, and. You know, we always feel that it's always good to get back to the community and we feel it's a great opportunity. You know, last year she wanted to win a marathon in Illinois and that just happened to fall the day before the race. But she wants to run this every year just to support the cause, support the running community in Oklahoma City. And it's a great event. All right, that'll do it here from the finish line of the Memorial Marathon. Coming up tomorrow, Jenny Carlson is writing in the Oklahoma about a lady who suffered a heat stroke back in 2009. She's back on the marathon course this week. And of course, more coverage from all of our reporters. We have a ton of coverage out here today from Jacob Unruh, from Ed Godfrey, and from Eric Horn. And of course, photographer Sarah Phipps is here as well. More coverage can be found online at newsok.com and in upcoming editions of the Oklahoma. As you move on out on the left course, whether you run 13.1 or 26.2, you're going to be 